people accused of Saudi Arabia of associating with the West to attack countries like Yemen, like for instance what happened recently. So is this true, whether did Saudi Arabia allied with other like Western countries? Okay. First of all, I'm not the official spokesman of Saudi government. <laughs> inshallah, once they appoint me, I will inshallah answer all of your questions. But the salary they offered me was very little, so I don't think I will accept that position. Secondly, who usually says such things about Saudi Arabia? Now, I'm a Saudi. Originally, I'm Indonesian. I'm from Medan. So my grandfather is from Medan. He sent my father to Indonesia, to uh, Saudi Arabia, like maybe 70, no more, about 90 years ago to study Islam because my grandfather was, was a judge in the Sultanate. So he wanted him to study Sharia. My father was very, very practicing. He said, Oof. and Saudi was the poorest country at the time. So they were giving nationalities in baskets, you know, carrying baskets in Mecca. Who wants nationality? <laughs> Who wants to come into this poor country? My father settled. So I am a Saudi born, bred in Saudi. I don't know Malay. Unfortunately, I wish I can learn it because it's a very, very big field of dawah. But I'm too old and you cannot teach a, a, an old dog new tricks, as they say. <laughs> Secondly, who talks bad about Saudi Arabia? Now, being a Saudi, I don't approve of a lot of the things that Saudis do. My government, I'm not a puppet. I'm not a slave. Wrong is wrong, right is wrong, but I'm a Muslim. Which means that my leader, my imam, my ruler, he is the commander that whatever he says, I obey as long as it is not going against Islam. So you have to know that this is an Islamic concept. I do not come in public and say, he did this, he did that, he's bad, he's... No, this is un-Islamic because Islam teaches unity. If I have something to say, I go in private and tell it to him in his face. So this is all Islamic. It doesn't have to do with politics. We don't have any connection of politics as Muslims. As a, as a Muslim die. <clears throat> so who speaks against Saudi Arabia? Shia, number one, and super Sufis. And those who hate Quran and Sunnah. Now, Saudi allies itself with the West. This is true. Our weapons come from USA. We depend a lot on the technology coming from USA and from Europe because we don't have this. You in Malaysia did the same, but you managed to develop yourself. So you had a plan, taking the technology, trans transferring it, and operating it afterwards. We failed in doing this 100% due to many reasons, but we still are dependent and we're trying to diversify. We want to, we're trying to go to other countries so that we're not dependent on America anymore, alhamdulillah. And this is making America very angry and very upset. Fourthly, our attack on Yemen is not based on interest in territory. Because if we wanted Yemen, we could have taken it 70, 80 years ago. We are the only country for the past 30 years giving and pumping money to Yemen. Do you know that the Yemeni airlines, planes are a gift from Saudi Airlines? All of it. All the hospitals, King Fahad Hospital, King Abdullah Hospital, they built it. They financed Yemen for the past 30 years because they are neighbors. And that is it. No interest. No questions asked. But when the Rafida, when the Houthis, the Shia were controlling Yemen, killing their people, killing the Sunnis, slaughtering them, children, women, men, and wanting to dominate the whole country, there was one of two choices. Leave them and end up in two years or one year like Syria, and then you have Iran surrounding Saudi Arabia. Do you think they will give us a, 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 a postcard on Valentine's Day? <laughs> they are trying, they are fighting us. We, our fight with Iran, with the, these Majus, with, with this Shia, has been so long, 
and we are blaming Saudi Arabia. I am, as a citizen, blaming my government for being so soft with them. So now they come infiltrate east of uh, Saudi Arabia. They have done what they have done in, in Bahrain. They are doing what they are doing in Kuwait and Syria. They are killing and genocide of the Muslims, of the Sunnis. In Iraq, they are slaughtering all the Sunnis. And Yemen, we want us to wait. The Yemeni government, the legitimate elected Yemeni government, came to Saudi Arabia, begged Saudi Arabia to do something. Saudi Arabia called Muslim countries and made a coalition and they agreed with an approval of the United uh, Arab, whatever they have this UN, but in, in Arabia. And they all started to target surgically places of the rebels, of the enemy. Okay, there might be mistakes and civilians die, but is it even close to what is happening in Syria? Is it close to the drone attacks? of Americans over Yemen and Afghanistan, killing weddings and killing babies and children and women. And none of the Muslims spoke about it. Everything, yeah, it's America. When America does this, we're afraid. So now when Saudi Arabia is doing something legitimate and for the benefit of the Yemeni people, who talks against it? BBC makes a full hour report. Islam, Saudi is doing, Saudi, Saudi is doing, subhanAllah. And CNN and Fox uh, News, etc. And of course, Iran is feeling it. Hezbollah, you know, Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrullah, the, he is barking like crazy because of Saudi Arabia. So those who talk against Saudi Arabia, come and visit Saudi Arabia. What will you see? You will see a king. He's a human being. He's not a prophet. He's not a sheikh. He's not... He has his shortcomings, but a king that serves his country well. Muslims, Saudis, travel unafraid. They pray five times a day in the masjid, unafraid. They know that there are tahfid al-Quran circles, more than a hundred thousand in all of Saudi Arabia. We have the biggest print house of Quran to distribute in 70 languages free of charge. We have da'wah programs. We have universities teaching Islam. We send people, du'a, da'is and scholars to spread the word of Islam. We help Islamic countries. We give to the extent that we as Saudi people are saying, hey, wait, wait, you're giving people, but we need money as well. We are condemning our government of giving everybody else, but we tell them, no, we want this money. To this, to this extent, so when you come to Saudi Arabia, you will find that Islam is there. Scholars in Riyadh, in Jeddah, in Mecca, in Medina, scholars, not da'is, not like me, not real scholars. You haven't seen real scholars. Scholars that know the Quran, the Sunnah, they write, they speak, they teach, they are like encyclopedia. Me, I'm not a scholar. He's a Sheikh Asim, I'm not a scholar, I'm a person who is a little bit old, maybe this is uh, not real, <laughs> and I have some knowledge, little knowledge, in English, and exposure in TV. That's why people think that, oh, mashallah, he's well known. I'm not a scholar. I have knowledge more than most of you, and I'm able to teach better than most of people because I'm a teacher by nature, alhamdulillah. But real scholars, you will find them in the thousands in, in, in Saudi Arabia, mashallah. No other country has this. So don't be fooled by the propaganda that they're spreading against Saudi Arabia because we are not utopia. When we're not companions of the Prophet, but we are far, 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 far better than what they accuse us of. And Allah knows best.